Hello beautiful Libra, welcome to my channel, Miss Reamy Healings. My name is Reem. Welcome into your romantic love reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Libra on your soul to soul connections. Please define the connection however you wish. We are all on different journeys and we are all on different timelines. So I could be reading for an energy that you have connected with in the past someone that you are currently connected with today, or someone that you haven't connected to yet, but will be in the near future. So please use your discernment of timelines and take only what resonates and leave what doesn't, as these are general readings. I just uploaded your spiritual growth reading, so please go ahead and take a look if you feel guided to. And just a quick disclaimer um, that we do not entertain toxicity. This is a healing channel. We will transmute anything that needs to be let go of so that we can cultivate and bring in what we deserve because it is all of our divine right to love and be loved in return. So for beautiful Libra, on your romance, soul to soul connections, your overall message or energies coming through using the romance angel oracle, you have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And then at the bottom of that, you have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And this is interesting energy, and I'm gonna take it. Free yourself. It's time to take control of your life. And I'm taking it because I just did your spiritual growth reading, and it was all about getting out of your mind and into your body feeling the new vibrational frequencies that you are elevating to that are around you in your reality. I feel like your body is calibrating to those vibrational frequencies. The divine is telling you to feel it, feel it. So you're being guided here as well in your romance life to get out of your mind and into your body. This is eight of swords energy out of your mind and into your body important message super important message releasing anything that needs to be let go of okay um where am i guided to i'm guided to the good tarot for you okay and then you have here very soon soulmate energy okay soulmate twin flame energy mirror soul energy define it however you wish because we're all on different journeys so many beautiful connections in our life that we make, okay? So, yes, this is your soulmate. For some of you, this is confirmation, okay? Some of you may have met this person already. Some of you may not have, okay? So, again, use your discernment of timelines. All right. Your overall energy here is... The three of earth, three of pentacles. We could be seeing three, three, three. There's a strong, what is that word? Camaraderie is what I'm feeling here that you have here with spirit. There's lots of butterflies around you, earth energy, earth elements around you. See, this person is doing this as if this person is seeing something in the far distance. Do you see that? That's this very soon energy that you intuitively feel. Maybe that you see. Maybe you are a seer. Maybe you have a vision. Maybe you are intuitively feeling this coming towards you, this new love or, you know, your connection enhancing, whatever it may be for you. Take what resonates. But it's as if you are seeing something from afar approaching you. And I'm feeling this camaraderie, this spirit energy that's around you here as well. Um... For some of you, I'm also getting a work message that new passions are igniting regarding work. 
you're being guided to a new direction in your career so you could be thinking of moving careers switching back to a career okay let's get all of your cards out and then we'll talk about the energy Sorry, just bear with me as I get your cards out. Thank you. Okay. So this Five of Swords energy, this is this free yourself energy here. This is coming through with the Nine of Swords, the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords here, I'm an intuitive reader. I don't just read the cards verbatim. I have to go with the energies and the channeled messages that I receive. But see, this is a risk here with the Five of Swords. This is you in this freedom-like energy, this free spirit energy, this fearless energy here. This person is walking a tight rope. This is also, it's just, it's a risk. You're being guided to free yourself and to feel. Look at this Nine of Swords energy. Again, out of your mind and into your body to feel free. Okay, that's your guidance. Whatever it is that you may be worried about, fearful of, you're being guided to get out of your mind and feel, feel it. You're overcoming something here with strength. Again, you have your nine nine, actually you have nine nine nine, nine of fire, nine of air, nine of water. So you could be seeing nine nine nine, okay? endings I feel like you're definitely ending a previous relationship maybe you just have ended a relationship okay that's for some of you some of you you could just be ending these toxic thought patterns or you are ending old cycles, okay, moving into new cycles. You're getting yourself out of the hermit cave. You're coming out. You're shining your light. Maybe you're telling the universe, I'm ready for love. Maybe you are saying, I'm ready for more. I've learned my lessons. I've learned from the past. really strong here with strength overcoming obstacles endurance as well and having the courage having the courage to be fearless having the courage to move in your body and out of your mind it takes a lot of strength and courage to do that to be free from your thoughts that hold you back it's not easy I feel like that's this temptation energy, this devil energy, this codependency. 
maybe that's your comfort zone to be in to be thinking of neg negative thought processes sometimes that's our comfort to you know we, we constantly think negatively or you know we we stay in a in that place because that's just what we know or that's all that's all that we have thought of so for some of us that's the that's the temptation that's the thoughts that we always feel tempted to think about I feel like you are ending that and you are overcoming that. Strength is the only card and strength and the sun are the only cards in the tarot that trump the devil energy. So I do feel like you're overcoming something in your life, okay, whether this is toxic thought patterns, any codependencies, any attachments that you may have, whether it's over the past, okay, but I feel like that's ending and you're overcoming it, you're moving forward. I feel like this reading is really focused on you because I'm not, to be honest, I'm not feeling any other person that you are, a, that is around you. I know you're connected to someone because the divine is saying yes very soon, but there is this focal energy about you here. And this is very, this is also very prominent in your spiritual growth reading. Could be seeing two 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 or three three three, and as I mentioned, you could be a seer, you could have a vision, intuition. But here with the high priestess, this is the energy of I feel. I feel something coming towards me. I know I deserve better. Therefore, I I know something will come towards me that is what I deserve. That's this high priestess energy. That's this knowing. That's this higher knowledge, higher intuition. Right? This is like your higher self, your intuition. That's, you know, energetically, that's what your higher self would look like or the depiction of intuition, something unknown, this energy that you feel something and here is your physical body on earth doing this and looking out into the distance because you intuitively know that something is coming towards you this love is coming towards you with the ten of earth and eight of pentacles energy I feel like for a lot of you, you are focused on work. Again, this is your overall message. Um, not only seeing something for yourself, also having this visionary energy, but you have a vision of how your life want, how you see your life unfolding, your career, your success your foundation, your security, your stability. This is your focus. And I love that because I see lots of success here. I see independence. I see wealth, not only of material riches, but also of health. I'm seeing health improvements because your mind is improving from toxic thoughts, negativities, or other attachments. This, um, your spiritual growth reading, you had the mastery energy come through of mastering a skill set, perfecting something that you're really good at. And here with the Eight of Pentacles, you're really good at something. You're uniquely talented at something, whether this is music, whether this is artistry in whatever capacity. But the overall message here is that you're really good at something. And there's a focus here advising you to focus on that. Master that energy. Master your skills. And I feel like you're creating a beautiful life for yourself. And it's very, it's going to lead you to success. And fulfillment here with the Nine of Cups. 
and the messenger of fire. Lots of passionate energy here, feeling, emotional fulfillment. I'm seeing a lot of orbs, so again, tel telepathy, maybe you're seeing a lot of orbs, maybe you're seeing a lot of fireflies, I am also seeing here fireflies. I'm feeling this shy, timid energy come through here with the messenger of fire. I don't know if this is you. It's very humble here with the nine of cups, but it's also very shy and very timid. So I, I feel like for some of you, you're shy, you're timid, you're a little bit closed off, but you have this beautiful light around you and about you. You cannot help but shine. And this is like your progress. Do you see this messenger of fire to the queen of fire? So you could have seen yourself evolve from a shy person, a little bit closed off, a little bit timid. And now you are this vibrant, confident, secure, sensual, high vibrational queen of wands, not female or male gender specific. You're also receiving something here with the Nine of Cups. You're receiving a gift. You're receiving an opportunity, something that is fulfilling you or will be fulfilling you. Maybe this very soon energy, maybe receiving this connection, receiving a message from this person. I am seeing here communication with Messenger of Fire. I'm also seeing communication here with the Page of Cups and a new beginning, something emerging, something not as it seems, but something more magical, something better, something unexpected. That's this very soon energy. This energy is not in the background. It's just, it's this inevitable energy that is coming towards you. I feel like once you kind of emerge out into yourself, out of your mind and into your body, do you see here this beautiful dance with the two of swords? It's as if this person is feeling, is dancing, using intuition, feeling intuition. Wherever my body leads, my mind follows. It's like that kind of energy, that kind of go with the flow, fluidity energy, making heart-based decisions rather than, you know, so much logic and analytics. That's your guidance. That's what's going to move you through and end whatever it is that you need to end, however you resonate with that. This energy here of this romance very soon, yes, this is your soulmate, that's just confirmation that it is inevitable. It's going to happen. The focus here is you. It's like you're the key. You know this. And you're just, it's like you're meeting, you're meeting this at the door. You, you're just, you're just walking up to the door to greet whoever it is that you're going to be meeting or whoever it is that you're going to be solidifying a connection with. Take what resonates. Because this is your focus here, your journey. It's like your, your self-love progress. Your self-love is progressing you to this romance. That's this free yourself energy. That's why this energy is so important. And I highly recommend you look at your spiritual growth reading um, if you're resonating heavily here as well. Libra, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.